I believe dance, I believe anything that you decide can change the world, and I decided that art can change the world, creation, creativity can change the world. So I, I honor it that way. It's like when I dance, I lay myself upon the altar of the creative, and I allow it to move. So I don't have to be good. I just have to be smart <laughs> enough to listen. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, my name is Miriam Parker. I mean, the biggest thing is, do not think I have to make something. The biggest practice is placing my mind in a state that I am something that's vast and beautiful, which is hard. The way that my sense perception is collecting a different composition of resource moment to moment and I take that resource that I'm getting in that moment and I play with that resource and I pull that resource and, um, and it's all play and reconstruction and it's like you're building the ladder in which is taking you up. The ladder does not exist there already. I know what it is. The resource, the resource that I get to play with, and that's an upward, upward spiral, is that um, everything is magic. And that what appears to be so solid and so convincingly, I say, no, it is not that. And that when I can keep my mind tethered, when I can identify the resource and the potentiality that exists in every single thing, both outwardly and inside my body, I'm slicing that misunderstanding with like a diamond knife. Ain't nobody fucking with me. <laughs> so the resource is understanding, but the resource is understanding that um, Everything is magic. It's like you might, you know, our feelings of self and our deprecation or our, our idea that if we get to this point in our life, we will then be happy is a misunderstanding. 
there's no happiness that exists in location. So there's a part of Miriam that knows that, and my dance is the perfect condition for me to challenge myself to believe it. Because when I'm dancing and when I'm moving, I feel like I'm moving with the whole fabric of the world. I do not feel disconnected. I feel charged and intentional. The negotiation of power struggle that I am conscious to be very mindful of is kind of like underneath it that I am not what I say creating over creation, that I'm creating with creation, that I'm allowing myself to be carried as much as I then carry that space with me. Our life is a healing of this trauma of saying, I have a feeling that it does not need to be this way. But when I look out, what I see, what my eyes see, is something quite finite. How do I resolve those two points? And that's what I play with in my dance. So is it healing? Yes, it's healing, because I know that I'm exercising my mind and my body to play with those two appearances and that's healing because there's something that happens that's not conceptual when you move your body and cannot be really spoken in words where you're connecting and you know and you feel and you feel and I feel I mean, a good day, a healing day when I dance is I leave and I say, if anybody is in pain, I will leap forward towards them and I will do whatever I can to take it away. You know, you have X amount of people that go into a very enclosed space, like being in quarantine, for example, or jail. And certain people during that time will use that time to free themselves, and others will not. So there's circumstances that would support one to do free, one to not be free. But essentially, that freedom is always available. It's not something that can be given. It's something that is in everything. And so, I don't know, I, I use that against myself, which is hard sometimes, because I'm like, why can't you find a way out, Miriam? There should be a way out. And my feelings are so strong in that moment, it's hard to. But then when I dance and I move, and I really lend myself to getting out of my head enough, then I can move.
And in some ways, yeah, that's very personal. And, you know, the dance no longer, I had to let go of trying to dance so that people would like what, like what I'm doing. And um, I dance with a heart and no longer with an aesthetic uh, hierarchy, an aesthetic branding of what I'm doing. Um, that was something we all do as presenters is we think this is good. So if I'm not dancing this gorgeously virtuosic way, then I can't dance. And I really am that's something that pulled me back for a while and I no longer concede to that mind. Um, I had to let go of trying to dance so that people would like what, like what I'm doing. And um, I dance with a heart and no longer with an aesthetic uh, hierarchy, an aesthetic branding of what I'm doing. I dance because it's my heart. I create the films because it's my heart. And I truly thank the Lord. <laughs> um, I or thank whatever. I'm truly, really appreciative that I no longer care so much. It set me free. Um, thank you. That's years of practice. Yeah, because that's that thing I just want to say one more time is that you have this idea.